Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about how you can create your GCK account. Also, how you can apply for your spousal open work permit application all by yourself. In my previous video, I have already given the checklist of the documents that you need to keep handy before going ahead and applying for spousal open work permit. If you haven't watched the video already, I suggest you watch the video first. You can find the link. on top left corner of this video since the process is pretty much straight forward i really suggest you try to do it all by yourself without just spending your hard earned money behind an agent so i'm searching this in google jck login so you can just go to the first link uh let me scroll down and you can see uh, the option sign in with jck let us click on that so here we need to give an user name and password if you already have an account you can just enter uh, to sign in but if you don't have one you can go to the sign up option uh let us just accept this Okay so here we can create our username I'll just give it as sowp underscore demo Can let's continue So in password uh, we have some recommendation on the right side if you can see 8 to 16 characters uh does not contain three consecutive characters uh, etc so once uh, all the conditions are met uh, it will have all the checks on the right side corner so let's just put a password from match your password so now you can see all the uh, checks are green so let us just go ahead uh, to the next step Let's continue. Okay, so here we have to give few recovery question. You can choose uh, whatever is convenient for you. I am just choosing few of the questions and answers accordingly. Memorable person. Memorable date. Let's just put today's date. This S O W P we are creating it today. Successfully created. Let's continue. Uh, let's accept. So here you have to give the name. email address preferred language is english let's continue to the next step okay so there are couple more security questions that you, and answer here you have to put so this set of questions you can choose all by yourself whichever you think you can remember so i'll choose few of the questions favorite food favorite vacation spot favorite tv series okay let's continue so yeah jck account is created but as we can see we don't have any application yet so let's just apply to come to canada okay 
so please enter your personal reference code begin you with your application i don't have any so i'll just choose visitor visa study and or work permit let's move ahead so there are few more set of questions what would you like to do in canada work it's more than six months as your spouse course will be of course more than six months uh, select the code at india ind k what is your country or territory of residence where you are currently staying if you are in canada you can choose canada so i'll choose india do you have a family member i don't have any so date of birth put give your date of birth the next are you a lawful permanent residence of united states no I have a job offer and my employer gave me an offer uh, employment number is LMIA I don't have uh, many people will have a closed work permit when employer give them a job offer but as I don't have I'll just choose no let's move ahead do you plan to work in one of the following categories you can see which skill you uh, you come under and you can choose accordingly I come under uh, highly skilled workers and researchers, uh, GSS category. So I'll say yes. Will you be coming to Canada under an active public policy special? I'll say no. Are you a spouse or common law partner or dependent children of a person who has or is applying for a work permit or a study permit and as a full time student? So it I am eligible for that so I'll say yes have you recently graduated from a participating Canadian post-secondary institute no what is your marital status I'll say married what is your province of destination mine is Ontario So based on your information you provided the results whether you may be eligible so you may be eligible to come to Canada so let's just say next uh, it says they are going to ask me few more question uh, let me just go ahead and it says do not submit multiple applications that will uh, really create confusion so let's just say next uh, what type of work permit do you want to apply for uh, it says a uh, work permit for spouse common law partner or child of a skilled worker or an international student say next are you accompanying a family member that has a status in Canada so I have chosen this as yes as I wanted to accompany my spouse I wanted to travel with him uh, when uh, he was still in India so uh, let's just say yes and next if you are uh, your spouse is already in Canada listen say no we were committed a crime no have you had a medical exam performed by an ISSC authorized panel physician yes I have done an upfront medical so I'll say yes Uh, and I also have an e-medical copy that I'm going to attach later in this application so let's just say next do you want to submit an application for a family member uh, no I am applying by myself so it should be no if you are submitting on behalf of someone maybe your spouse you say yes so let's just move ahead are you giving someone access to your application this is when uh, 
some agent or lawyer is applying on your behalf but in my case uh, no one is applying on my behalf so i just say no in past 10 years have you given your fingerprint i haven't given any fingerprint but if you have uh, given fingerprint for canada you can choose yes let's say next there are fees associated with this application will you be paying yeah i'll be paying are you able to make a digital copy of your documents with a scanner or camera yes will you be paying your application fees online to pay online you can use a credit card yes so yeah we are done with uh, all the questions you can just review if you have given all the correct answer if uh, not if you want to edit something you can edit and you can just continue so here are the steps it says what all the steps you have to go through what are the process uh, the final process is payment let's just continue um okay so here are the checklist page where you need to upload all of your documents related to SOWP so let's just uh, click on the first one application for work permit outside canada there is a form that you need to fill so you just have to download this you can check in your download folder and open it so it has a few questions that uh, you have to answer it's very generic it's mostly uh, is about your family name your citizenship uh, the your address uh, all this informations so you can just uh, fill this this is very easy and straightforward So you can choose uh, what type of work permit you are applying for so open work permit it will ask uh, if it is uh, GSS category then you have to give employer name otherwise you can ignore the province I am applying for is Ontario uh, city is uh, in my case it's Toronto uh, address uh, where your spouse is going to be maybe there are some of the medical information that uh, you have to provide here so once it is filled you can just go ahead and upload the file uh, let's go with the next one so I am a 5707 you have to give your family information here your name your spouse name and your parents details all this information you need to fill here if you have any children you have to give their details as well and uh, after that you can just go ahead and upload this so other than that upload your passport copy proof of upfront medical that uh, this is the same as e-medical copy uh, your digital photo you can see the requirements of the photo they will be mentioning uh, the requirements what kind of uh, dimension the photo should be having so under proof of relationship uh, you can just make a pdf of all the uh, photos and uh, child history and marriage certificate and all, uh, all this stuff that i have mentioned in my previous video already there are two more optional documents so the first one i haven't uh, uploaded but the client information is something that's important i guess so that's where i have given all my details uh, as i mentioned my sop uh, my uh, resume my academic certification and all, stuff like that so yeah once all these things are uploaded you will uh, have to pay 340 canadian dollar right now it doesn't give an option to submit as we haven't uploaded the documents but once we upload all the documents you can just go ahead and submit so i'll just uh, go ahead and exit 
so it asks are you sure you want to exit let's say continue so it takes you to the home page where you can see uh, now you have an application click on the application and you can see the application you just created so that's it uh, i hope uh, it was helpful if you want more information related to spousal open work permit please subscribe to our channel and keep the notification on so that whenever i upload a new video about spousal open work permit you get a notification thank you for watching